Kate Hudson, Heath Ledger rocked. Hollywood suffered a major loss when Heath Ledger died at the age of 28 in 2008, shortly after completing his Oscar-winning work as the Joker in The Dark Knight. He's remembered primarily as a dramatic actor, so it's easy to forget his excellent work in other film genres. One of Ledger's first major roles was portraying a handsome British officer in the 2002 period war drama The Four Feathers. His love interest was played by Kate Hudson, and it sounds like she remembers that performance very well. In fact, she says her kisses with Ledger were the very best of her career. Where were they going to send you? In July 2014, she told Andy Cohen, My favorite one was Heath. Oh. Yeah. That was, I mean, nice. you know, it's from the Ambassadors. But that would, I would say that he was, that was, that was pretty excellent. Bryce Dallas Howard's Pratt Attack. While promoting her 2016 movie Gold, Bryce Dallas Howard told People Now host Jeremy Parsons that there was one specific taste she got when kissing her hunky co star, Matthew McConaughey. And what taste is that? Tea. So it was... it was pretty good. Actually, she's discussing the flavor of the tea-like beverage McConaughey drank throughout the film because it looked like booze on screen. Yeah, some sort of like like good, healthy um, substitute, um, aesthetic <laughs> substitute for alcohol. And how did McConaughey react to these reports of tea breath? Well, I sure as hell, if I, I, could, I wasn't gonna be able to, that wasn't real secrets I was drinking. <laughs> We'd never made it out. Would have made it past lunch. Alas, McConaughey doesn't quite take first place in the Bryce Dallas Howard kissing competition. That honor goes to her Jurassic World co-star, Chris Pratt. Chris's breath is like Starburst. Oh, you know, it's amazing. It's just, he's, he's perfect. Like fresh breath. Starburst, not like we had him an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, that's no, what no, no. So if you ever wanted to know what it's like to kiss Chris Pratt, you know what to do. Ethan Hawke, Team Angelina. I have this, this planet of regret sitting on my shoulders. What's the name of that actor? He's got rugged good looks and that unshaven thing going on. Steven Dorff? No, Ethan Hawke. We forgot his name for a second, which is exactly what happened to Hawke after he kissed Angelina Jolie in the 2004 film Taking Lives. During a subsequent appearance on Watch What Happens Live, Hawke let his feelings about Jolie be known. Angelina Jolie was born, you know, to, <laughs> to riddle men. Yes. To make, and to make them weak. That's a lot to take in, right? Well, he's not quite done. When she kisses you, you, know you don't know your name. <laughs> all right? And oh. so, Man. is that all right? Yes, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's great. great. Ryan Reynolds kisses and tells. <gasps> what the hell is with that mask? Came with the outfit. Cool, huh? Deadpool star Ryan Reynolds met future wife Blake Lively on the set of another, far less popular superhero film, the 2010 action flick Green Lantern. The couple wound up getting married in real life and became one of the most adorable Hollywood couples. So, in March 2015, when a Twitter fan asked Reynolds to recollect a memorable screen kiss, the conversation immediately turned to Lively, right? Wrong. The fan asked, What is it like kissing the amazing Anna Kendrick? As you may recall, Reynolds and Kendrick locked lips in the bizarre 2014 horror comedy The Voices. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Jerry was just, uh... Reynolds' reply was kind, to say the least. He tweeted that their on-screen kiss was like taking your face to Awesome Town. Kendrick acknowledged the praise with some of her patented self-deprecating humor, writing, That is the Kendrick train guarantee, with local stops in Awkwardville and Tolerable Shire. Penn Badgley's Best and Worst we were just talking about Blake Lively, weren't we? Well, her former Gossip Girl co-star Penn Badgley also revealed his best and worst ever on-screen kiss, and they both happened to be her. When asked on Watch What Happens Live to describe his most memorable workplace smooch, Badgley didn't have to think too long before answering. On-screen kisses are not really that real. I'd say best, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it was Blake because we actually had a relationship at the time. Right. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. It's not, though, because here's who Badgley thinks was his worst on-screen kissing partner. Maybe Blake after we broke up. Right. <laughs> I would think that would be really hard yeah, after yeah, you yeah. break up with someone and then you're still playing love interest. Now let's compare and contrast. They shared this kiss in season one while they were still dating. And here's a kiss they shared in season six after they were no longer an item. It's called acting, people. Look it up. Zac Efron praises Zendaya. 
He's been a hunky romantic lead so many times, Zac Efron is basically a professional kisser who does a little acting on the side. He romanced Vanessa Hudgens in three different installments of High School Musical. And he totally taught Taylor Schilling how to love again in The Lucky One. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been so long. With so many partners to choose from, it's quite the compliment that Efron told People kissing Zendaya in The Greatest Showman was something of a career highlight. This might be my favorite kiss, I think ever. But when Gay Times asked Zendaya about the kiss, she said it was strictly professional. Listen, that's part of the job. Yes. You know, um, it wasn't a tough job, but it's part of the job <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> Sorry, Zach, but there's always other fish in the sea. Oprah's unforgettable smooch. Myth. Standing within a five-foot radius of Oprah will cause any mere mortal to instantly turn to ash. Humans are actually quite capable of withstanding Oprah's force field, provided they're a charming, Oscar-winning actor who really knows how to kiss. In the 2013 film The Butler, Winfrey plays the wife of the White House's butler, who's portrayed by Forrest Whitaker. During a 2012 interview on CBS This Morning, the media titan and actress discussed her work on the film. And when the subject of Whitaker's kissing skills came up, Oprah bestowed kindness and mercy across the land. Did you feel all tingly? No. <laughs> uh, I felt pretty good about it, let me just say. Horses is a good kisser, how about that? <laughs>